Hello, welcome to Bobby Books and Blocks, and today we have an exciting video where we'll be reviewing Lego set, the Boutique Hotel Modular. This set represents 15 years of Lego modules, and I heard a lot of people say that this set's overpriced. In my opinion, it is, but I got a great deal on it. I saved up some of my VIP points, and I got doing double VIP, so kind of. It kind of was a little bit cheaper, but either way, the set is really overpriced. It's one of the most overpriced sets for the modules, but I guess it's because of the 15 year anniversary that's up next year. It won't be as expensive because it's a 16 year. But this set is full with detail, and I can't wait to show it to you, and we have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Let's take a look at this set of the outterior first. There's a lot to cover on the outside, but we're mainly going to focus on this side. Here we have like a little like bar slash like table for drinks. And this place is pretty cool. Here's like the, one of the mini pairs that look like she's coming down from it. There's a lot of detail like this tree. This tree is really fun to put together. And by right under here we have a cube of fine art. And when you look inside a cube of fine art, there's one piece of art that means a lot to people who bought the set. Inside you'll see a clear piece. There's the old creator expert logo in the art gallery. So I think that's really cool how they wanted to represent the old thing that the modules used to be in. Here we have the art gallery owner. She's a really cool figure. I like her torso paint. We got nothing like that before our Lego. Right here we have a coffee man. Man that serves coffee and the coffee salesman looks nice and happy for being at a job. Right here we have a, a posted board, a posted notebook. And he represents a lot of people from modules. Unfortunately, I don't know too many of them because this one of the only modules I built. Besides the Daily Bugle, I don't think I've seen a part of the module collection. So that's for like, I think I rep know some of them, but like, I don't, I don't have the sets. Here we have the artist that makes most of the art seen in the artist. In the Acubo Fine Art, here we have a person who works at the hotel, and here we have another person and a guest and a lamppost. The way a tower is really cool. The best part is on the whole way to like those tiles. Everything was nicely constructed, so it's a staircase, but the I feel like the could have way where they can incorporate putting mini pairs. That's one of the only bum sides about it. Now take a look inside the first story. Here we are inside the first story. And one thing you'll notice is this side probably the most detailed side with the keys and the phone. And the ton name from people from the brilliant modulars. And here's a flower bouquet with white flowers. Here's a little painting. I don't know who drew that. Maybe it was the person that owned the cube of fine art. Here's the stair railing. And the module's real cool because the stairs like connect on each level. Here's a nice couch. And there's the rug. Now take a look at the second story. Now we're on the second story and we're first going to take a look at this room. And right when you look in there, you'll see like the stairs like combining. And it goes up to the first story, we'll take a look at later. The this one's really small, but it has a lot of nice details like a wet bed, a picture of the London Bridge, which was first used in Central Park. And here I think it's like a dinosaur egg or like an egg. You have a tan dresser and a little desk. That's about it for a small room. Now we're on this big suite. It's not that big, but like the space is bigger. You have a desk with a typewriter on it and a dresser 
over here. And the sand going bad. Now take a look at the second story. Oh yeah, and it also has a balcony. Here we probably have the biggest suite and probably the most expensive suite. And it's kind of funny, the only suite that can get a bathroom. Here you have the stairs that lead up there. I don't understand, there's, you look like you can get up the roof, but there's no stair railings, so that's kind of weird. Here you have a dresser or a, like, cabinet. Here you have a brown chair, a black chair. Here you have a very big bed. And in here, there's nothing really in there but a chair. I hard to get a look, so I'm trying to get the best look. There we are. Now let's move on to the bathroom. The bathroom very detailed for how small the space it's in. The build I think is kind of like was stolen from Sesame Street at the top. And there you have a sink with no faucet. And here you have the t toilet, which is kind of hard to get into, kind of like a small space, but it's the biggest suite, so the rooms are just small. Now, around the roof. The roof is detailed, but pretty boring. You have these, like, the glass window that you kind of see, like, the room on the last story, but that's really cool, and the main part of it is this piece. Like the large tower and you have like the golden element up there. Run back at the like the tall piece on the Disney Castle, that piece. Here you have like the snakes making these very nice designs. I don't like snake but I do like what they can do on Lego form. Overall that's about it for this module. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.